standing at 14,115 feet with Randy Popes here at the top of the Pike Peak Hill Climb brought to you by Broadmoor Gran Turismo. Randy, welcome back to the top. This is the third year for the Unplugged Performance Tesla Model S Plaid and the first time we've run flat out all the way up. What a ride, what a ride. Never been better on the bumps. We got these super cool unplugged shocks. I've been adjusting them. And uh, something was up in the back though. It was softer and I asked it to be stiffer. So it was banging on the rear diffuser early. And I thought, what's that gonna be like up top? But uh, I actually employed a strategy of lifting off the power a little bit towards the end of the straights to try to stretch the battery heat. Our challenges, thermals, we have so much power in the plaid, running all that current creates heat. So the car set up, the handling was amazing. The brakes held up great because we ran no regen. Well, 15% regen, but regen is putting power back in the battery. That generates heat too. So we're fighting heat the whole way up. We had a good consistent run Happy to be here, and we're going to be back next year, I think, and we're going to work on that heat thing, make it faster and faster and faster. And I got, you know, I got these trick tires from Yokohama. I'm a vegetarian, so are my tires. They're made with biomass, and they're much faster than the uh, plain Yokohama slicks. I loved them. The grip was great the whole way up. Handled great, got hot, slowed down a little bit the second half of the run. Randy, I've had a chance to talk to you in a whole bunch of different environments, a bunch of different things. I don't see you as jazzed anywhere, anytime as when I see you right here, right now. What makes this different? It's probably those long blue sky sweepers in the top section. Running Pikes Peak, you get a one shot and there's a lot of risk. And there's a point where I'm lifting off the brake into the corner, I'm going, eh. <laughs> and the adrenaline pumps are all, they're on flat out. And that's what makes Pikes Peak really different for me is the level of thrill, excitement, and challenge. Tell me about driving a nearly 5,000 pound car, an electric car. You seem to be really dialing into the technology yourself and understanding what makes this work. What, what drives your passion about this car? Well, number one, I've been in the automotive magazine industry, Motor Trend, Haggerty Channel, and I've seen the electric cars are coming. I believe the electric cars, with all their issues, are still far more efficient than gas. I love gas cars rowing the gears and open up the four barrel and get the, you know? But the Tesla does an amazingly good job of defying physics. Driving the car does not feel heavy. You know why? Low center of gravity. The center of gravity is down here by my feet because the battery is the majority of the weight and it is beneath the floor, and it works. Combine that with all-wheel drive, a thousand electric horsepower, and even more torque, and the braking from Unplugged Performance. We, we upgrade the brakes a lot. You ought to have heard stories of Tesla Plaid. Well, we took care of that. So it stopped great. We've still got to work on this thermals issue. It's really tricky, because our whole drivetrain is from Tesla. It's not a race car drivetrain. It's right off the showroom floor. So I like to pick on these guys with race cars. That we're running a four-door luxury sedan. I mean, you know, you could get in the back here, take the kids. We actually brought up Tanner Faust's gear bag because he didn't have room in the Radford. <laughs> so it overachieves. Let me ask you one more question. People were here last night, sleeping in tents, in their cars, sleeping outside the gate this morning. I saw your Instagram post that you were kind of all caught up with them. What do these people standing on the side of the hill, weathering these conditions, what do they mean to you as you drive up this hill? Love, man, and a shared passion for motorsport, and a, quite a bit of crazy. I have to admire the passion of someone who'll come up into this weather and camp. I mean, I get tired. I lived in Florida many years. I live in Atlanta now. You get about 68 degrees, I start getting cold. Those people are amazing. And just to see us roar by in one corner and maybe get the radio commentary and some TV shots, incredible passion for motorsports. And the electric cars are part of that. They're amazing. Well, congratulations. Welcome to the top and enjoy the ride down. Thank you, Hayward. It's good to be here. One.
Unplugged. Unplugged. <laughs>